Hello and welcome to Mage Master's amazing adventures with the Firing Squad into Vortheim, the city of the damned. Another day is dawning in Mordheim, City of the Damned, and let's get started right away with the sweet moment after yesterday's heroic battle. And, of course, not the least, follow my personal progress as the Warlock Ranger Mage Master. And look at all those experience points right there, three for the optional objective completed and one for the most valuable warrior also. And you ranked up to level 7 Mason Mugshot, what a great achievement. And you got two more skill points for training and advancement points, one in mental and one in martial, nice, nice. Fantastic! And Donnie Dodger, look at all of your experience points. You also ranked up, and all of these advancement points. You got advancement points in everything, and two even in Marshall. And you got a strategy point. One extra blue pill right there. Nice! And you did a good job out there, both shooting and shifting to the first front line. Man, this is good. Remarkable. And Teddy Toothpick, look at all of your experience points here, huh? And you even got two skill points for training as well. Why? Because you ranked up to level four. This is nice. And look at all the advancements points. One in each, martial, mental, and physical. Well done, Teddy Toothpick. Well done. The gods are with you. And there I am, Mage Master, and look at all of these experience points for me, just stacking up right there, and one of them is one enemy put out of action, my sixth, nice, and I got two skill points as well, because I ranked up to level three, this is awesome news, and even better, I got an extra offense point, this means I got six offense points, and that means I can shoot three times with my beloved bow, and I got a mental advancement point. I'm probably going to be using that for intelligence so I can start training some spells. Wow, what progression. I'm loving this. Nice. Fantastic. And Herman Henchman, what a formidable good job you did out there, standing in the first front line protecting us all. And look at all the experience points you are rewarded this time. And advancements points. Two in mental and one in physical. Nice. And you got two skill points for training. Why? Because you also ranked up to level four. This is awesome, Herman Henchman. Awesome. Congratulations. Fantastic. And Nero the Hero, you did some good shooting out there and you were rewarded with a lot of experience points as well and an advancement point in every category here, martial, mental and physical. And you ranked up your first rank, level one. Congratulations, Nero. Well done. And Pierre Paré, our newest recruit in the firing squad. Look at all of these experience points you got right away on your first mission. You just won experience point from leveling up to level one. And you got your first enemy put out of action here today. Awesome. You even got two advancement points, one in martial and one in physical. Nice, Pierre. Welcome to the group and well done today. And as a war band, we were given four experience points today. Not two as we usually do, but four because we completed the optional objective today. This is nice. This is nice. And while the captain distributes the spoils of war and the advancements of skills, you can enjoy Mage Master's very own first-hand experienced war tale of yesterday's venture into... Vortheim, the city of the damned. And the captain has found us a hard mission today. Scavengers. Someone is marked for death. The wordstone gathering would be average and the scavenging would be poor. One warband is caught exploring buildings while the other deploys tightly around its wagon. A hard one today, captain. Really? Okay. The witch hunters it is. Flames of Sigma.
The plan is that we all gather up along this house and keep tight, and about here we will probably engage the enemy. We are going into the house and up and down the stairs fighting. We know that kind of fighting. Right here there is a wordstone field right here and a lot of other wordstone around. But the problem is that they are probably dispersed in these buildings right here and could be upon us in the first round or in the second. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it was a hard day after Perry Perry's so-called delicacy, but I was the first to move, and I spotted the enemy. They were just one move away. All they had to do was run through a few houses. It was a really short distance to the first foe, so the captain told us all to cluster up. Around the corner. Nero the hero and Pierre Paré were tightly tucked away in the middle of us all. And we were standing real close. Too close, if you ask me. Anyway, their leader was the first to show up and Nero the hero... <laughs> ...sent him a warning shot. But he decided to show his allies what not to do with the firing squad. So he lined up in front of us all. And I decided to play fair and send him another warning shot, right? Well, just one. And that's when I spotted the second foe on his way. He was just behind the houses on the street, only one move away from getting to us. That would be two of them. But while we were struggling with more than them, I was giving them some damage as well. The captain also stepped up front, laid some heavy lead on him, and went into an overwatch stance and told us all to do the same. As soon as he would move, we would stick it to him. Teddy Toothpick sent him a hello and did exactly what the captain told him to do. And so did Pierre Paré. And so did Nero the hero. And Herman Henchman stepped up front to create the first front line as well. Struggling with inner demons, it seemed. Donny Dodger also stepped up, laid some heavy lead on him, and switched his weapons into a first frontliner. We were ready for his approach. Nero the hero sent him the first pieces of lead to damage his flesh. He quickly shifted to a big blunderbuss, and even though it shoots in a cone, he missed us all. I decided to help the captain and just conquer the house, of course. Be a big help, but I was ambushed. I quickly decided to just go and tell him not to go that way and tuck myself in and do exactly what the captain told us all to do. But he followed up and Teddy Toothpick got him by the corner. Then he insulted Donny Dodger before he took an ambush in wait of us. But the captain knows exactly how to deal with more foes than one. So he laid some lead on the leader in order to drop him. But the leader only had one drop of blood left. So he decided to delay and pick the perfect moment for the next move. Teddy Toothpick decided to lay some heavy damage on the guy on the corner. He shot him once. He shot him twice. That's when another enemy showed up. He went straight for us but turned for some reason. Herman Henchman decided to engage. He laid some good damage on him, but received even more. That's when he decided to go into a defensive stance. And the captain decided to switch his weapons and help Herman Henchman. But he missed his first attack, so he also went into a defensive parry stance. Donny Dodger quickly went ahead to the wall and made an ambush stance to cover their backs. And the rest of us got ready to assist the engaged. Pierre Paré laid some heavy damage on the guy on the corner. And I stepped up and decided it was time to shoot and loot. 
I took down my sixth enemy. I went ahead and found out what was so urgent to this last enemy we saw. He needed to relieve himself in the corner. Well, when you gotta go, you gotta go. He had a load of life, and the mocked one was standing right outside the door of the other house. I quickly decided to loot a lot of good stuff and to run right back to where I was. I was pretty unfocused, I guess. So, I stepped right into a trap. Anyway, I got in an overwatch stands ready to take out the guy in the corner relieving himself. And the captain was insulted by the guy on the corner, but dodged his big swing. The guy was fighting for his life with arrows in his body, but the captain was relentless. He stuck it to him again and again. And went into defensive stances. Teddy Toothpick also laid some more damage on him. Struggling with his belly, yet he still made damage everywhere he shot. This guy had learned from his captain. See, he only had one drop of blood left, and that was keeping him standing. The guy had finally relieved himself, but had something else to do. Probably some wordstone looting, and then... He showed up, right behind the wall and Donnie Dodger. He had loads of life, and now the two mocked ones were visible. The optional objectives were within sight, but were they within reach? Pierre Paré took out his first enemy in Mordheim, City of the Damned progressing towards his standard contract, with one enemy put out of action on his first mission. The captain quickly went back into a first front line, taking the center with a parry stance, and told us all to get ready with overwatch stances in the back line. Nero the hero took a good stand. Herman Henchman stepped up at the right flank of the first front line with a good parry stance. Donnie Dodger left the wall with some trouble, but took a parry stance at the left flank of the first front line. And that's when the first marked one stepped through the door. Teddy Toothpick gave him a hello. I sent him another hello, but he decided to do as his leader. Line up in front of the firing squad. That is not smart. I decided to tell him why. Yes, yet another of my arrows hit their target. I went into an overwatch stance and wait for the next. The other mocked one. Their hero stopped in the house just across the street. The captain who loves oil bombs and anything that can make a spark lit up the street and made them look like human torches. He took an ambush stance, waiting for the first foe to step within range. And Teddy Toothpick sent the living torch a little hello. And went into an overwatch stance as well. But all of a sudden one of them stepped up in front of the wall. Sorry guys. It kind of yeah. startled me. But I hit my target, right? Anyway, he decided to loot the corpse of his flaming leader. And stepped right into Nero's shot. That didn't stop him, so Teddy Toothpick told him off. That either didn't stop him, so the captain took him in his hands, but received a heavy blow. But the captain had a counterattack just as bad. He was fighting with arrows all over, until the dodge stands right in front of the captain. Donnie Dodger decided to go on the other side of him and gave him some more damage. This dude was now down to just one drop of blood. Time to drop him.
Putting him down was a true relief. So was the loot. Some good word stone right there. But he got a nasty debuff from the word stone he collected. And after the loot, he caught on fire. Donnie Dodger was now himself a living torch. Slowly taking damage. But he stepped back like a living torch in the middle of the first front line. Keeping it tight. Yeah, you know what I mean. Nero the hero had no trouble finding his target when it was lit up. Herman Henchman took the parry stance on the right side of the first front line once again. And, and Pierre Paré took a careful aim and laid some more lead and damage on the enemies. The guy was so full of arrows and lead. A new round has started. But still he charged straight out of the blaze and startled Herman Henchman. But he dodged his attack and missed his own character. The guy took a dodge right in front of him. While I... Take good aim. And getting in position for an overwatch stance against the next and last of the mocked ones who was hiding in the house on the other side of the fire. And he stepped right out and into my target. And I'm pretty sure I hit a pigeon right there. Anyway, he decided to stop and loot. Catching on fire. And going into an ambush stance. The captain knew we now had the optional objective within reach. The two marked ones were right in front of us and decided it was time to hold both of them real close. So he pulled him into his own ambush, took the first hit and gave some right back. But their hero was a capable fighter and damaged Mason mugshot severely. Mason had yet another counterattack and the fight was on. He took a parry stance awaiting the rest of us to help him take this foe down. Teddy Toothpick probably just sent him a warning shot first and then he damaged him. Herman Henchman was still fighting a capable foe at the corner, ablazed and with arrows all over him. Yet he dodged Herman Henchman's attack, so Herman had to keep the defensive stances. Pierre Paré laid some heavy lead on their hero. Nero the hero himself found his time as well. He was going down fast. Donnie Dodger, still taking damage from the burning in his shirt, went behind the back and took him from the other side. But he missed his attack and also went into a defensive stance. A new round has started. Herman Henchman seemed focused and parried his first attack and countered him to the ground. I laid my arrows well on my bow. I tiptoed around for good positions and found my targets well. But sometimes fire catches on to arrows, right? Don't they? Anyway. The hero attacked the captain, but he defended himself well and countered even better. The hero then tried to attack Donnie Dodge with a heavy blow, but Donnie Dodge gave some back. Both of them on fire. He took a dodge stance awaiting the next attack, but the captain didn't waste his time. The fire on the screen burned out, but the living torch was still an easy target. The captain delayed the fight for a strategic delay to see what the rest of us could do with this living torch. Teddy Toothpick quickly went and looted the first of the two marked Objectives tokens updated. were in our possession. And then he put the last marked one to the ground.
And Nero, the hero, could make a good loot of the last of the dog tags. And so we had completed the optional objective. Objective completed. On a day like this. Johnny Dodger quickly stepped over to the left side of the open gap in the wall to defend with an ambush. The captain quickly went to the right side and ambushed from there. And Herman Henchman stood in the middle and we were all getting ready for the foe to show up. But it was as if they had all vanished. The rest of us went into Overwatch stance in wait. A new round has started. But they were gone. <laughs> gone like a fart in the wind. And that seems pretty much to sum up today, right? Anyway, it was a decisive victory. And what a victory considering the fact of the state we were all in. We completed all our objectives. We got some pretty good wordstone gathering. And not that good looting from our enemies. But we put five of them out of action. And we lost no one. The most valuable warrior was Mason Muckshot, our captain. He dealt a lot of damage. I guess I would have dealt a lot of damage too if it wasn't because of that damn pigeon or something, I think. Anyway, the whole mission just costed 50 gold crowns and overall it was a magnificent victory. Especially considering the state we were all in, right? And now we're all just thinking about the barbecue feast we're gonna have tonight with our newest recruit, Mark Muckshot, the twin brother of Mason Muckshot, our captain. We now have a reserve captain enlisted. Oh man, this is gonna be a true barbecue party tonight. Now, let's see who got what at yesterday's sweet moment. And the captain, he was pretty happy for all the experience points and advancement points we got out there, but he wasn't too happy about the scavenging. We only got a good quality dagger and a good quality maze out there that could be used for anything. But it's backliner weapons, so there is nothing for him or the frontliners. But he did get advancement points in mental, going for intelligence, and one in martial, going for ballistics. That's interesting. And Donny Dodger, you ranked up to level 5 and got a lot of advancement points here. One in physical, going for agility. You are a Dodger, right? And leadership to level out these moral values down here. And all alone test terror and fear resistances. Nice. And you are a frontliner. So you are going to be spending both of your advancement points in weapon skill, of course. Awesome. And Pierre Paré, what wonderful shooting you did out there from the second front line. And you got two advancement points and you are close to ranking up. Nice. You're spending one of your advancement points physical for strength, of course. And the one in martial is going for weapon skill because you are a fighter, right? Nice. And there I am, Mage Master, and I also ranked up to level 3, and I was given an advancement point, and I'm gonna be using that for intelligence so I can learn some spells. But I found a skill here, and I've been looking at a skill called Battle Plan, and I can learn it overnight. It restores one offense point that can be used to counterattack. I can buff my frontline allies with this, and it only costs costs 90 gold coins. Wow, and look at all the money we got right here. No problem. Nobody's gonna be missing 90 gold coins, right? I mean, 90, that's nothing. Look at all that. Yeah, well, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Nice. And Herman Henchman, what a formidable good job you did out there as a first frontliner. You got three advancement points. One in physical and two in mental. And the physical is going for strength. And in mental, you're gonna be spending one in leadership to level out these values of morale. And to boost these all alone terror and fear resistances. And you're gonna be taking one in intelligence as well. And you are gonna be training. The captain wants you to become a shield specialist right here. And you can learn that skill overnight. And it only costs 90 gold coins and we got lots of money. So no problem there. Awesome. 
and Nero the Hero. You also ranked up and you did some good shooting out there from the back line. You got an advancement point in every category. Physical is going for agility so you can boost your dodging a bit, climb a little better and stuff like that. And leadership for the mental advancement point to level out these moral values right here and to better a little bit of your resistances in all alone terror and fear. And of course the martial advancement point is gonna go for ballistics. And we found a maze out there. A maze of speed, a typical backliner weapon, and that is for you, Nero. Nice, look at that. And the other good quality blue backliner weapon, a dagger, we found out there is going for Baldy Bowman. He's been sharing a blue good quality dagger with Teddy Toothpick. Now he has his own. Nice. And Teddy Toothpick, what formidable good shooting you did out there from the back line today. And you also ranked up and were given three advancement points and a few skill points for training as well. Your advancement points is going for agility to better out your dodging abilities down here. And it's going for leadership to better. Even better out the morale here, and you're all alone, fear and terror tests down here. And the last one is, of course, going for ballistics. Nice. But you were also given two skill points for training. And it is, of course, a ballistic skill. Quick reload. It reduces the cost of the reload action by one strategy point, but it takes two days, so you're going to be out of a mission for at least one day. It only costs 180 gold crowns, and we, of course, have that. We got lots of money still. Nice, Teddy. Nice. And the captain, he's going to be doing some training for himself. Look at all these skill points he's got up here, right here. But he hasn't been able to do it because we didn't have a reserve captain. So, hold ground is going to take two days and we can take a reserve captain with us. This is nice. And it's a buff that gives ally a dodge and parry chance of 5% and 10% when it's mastered. Up to 20 meters away. Oh, man. And this only costs 160 gold crowns here and there's there's something missing here i totally don't know anything about that captain uh, i i don't uh, anyway he could go and sell some of our useless weapons and stuff uh, i mean that's that's a that's a good thing getting rid of that right i mean this this is lucky right right Anyway, while he's going on a shopping spree, I can tell you some hot news. Howard Howler is in love. Gisela this and Gisela that. Gisela this and Gisela that. <laughs> but uh, it's not all good, you see. He went down to the healer to recuperate faster from his wounds and she made some blood magic on him. And since then, he's been like love struck, uh, kind of distant and somehow not himself. I talked to our two backliner marksmen, Baldy Bowman and Teddy Toothpick, about this. They're both convinced that he's been cursed with some love spell. And Baldy Bowman, he's been living with some Baldy monks in a faraway land called Nepal or Nepal. These monks, they know a thing or two about magic. And he says blood magic is bad. Evil, even. Oh, by the way, Baldy Bowman's name, it has kind of a funny story. You see, when he first came to Mordheim, no one understood him or could pronounce his name. But he was kind and polite to everyone. And he always bowed respectfully. So everyone just called him Baldy Bowman, since he was bold like the monks are where he comes from, right? But since all discovered how skilled he is with the bow, he's now called Baldy Bowman. Anyway, I uh, talked to them a while and I kind of persuaded them to tell me the captain's master plan for them. Yeah, it worked out. It turns out they have the exact same master plan. And of course, I'll share that with you guys. But hey, hey. You guys, you, you know these plans are like top secret, right? So don't tell the captain I showed it to you, okay? I, I could get fired for this, you know? Now let's take a look at the captain's master plan for... Baldy Bowman, Overwatcher, Marksman, and Backliner. 
Every warband member of the firing squad has four personal objectives, counting the first objective as the standard contract. To become a true member, everyone has to survive five missions and put five enemies out of action. Once that is accomplished, they can progress in the star ranking system as a trooper. And he can gain a star by training and learning five passive skills. And if he does that, he gains the rank of a true trooper. He can also achieve a second star by casting battle plan on an ally that uses it for a counterattack. If he does that, he gains the rank of a star trooper. And he can gain a third star and the highest rank of a tri trooper by advancing to 12 in agility and 15 in ballistic skill. Now let's take a look at the specific stats and skills specified by the captain. There are three active skills and five passive skills in all. Now starting with the active skills. Vital Shot is the first active skill. It is a ranged attack that deals regular damage and has a plus 10% critical hit chance. And his second active skill is the Pinning Shot, a strategic shot. A ranged attack that deals regular damage and if hit, the target's maximum strategy points is reduced by one for one turn. The third and last of his active skills is the Battle Plan. This is also a strategic skill. He can target a single ally and restore one offense point that can't be used for counterattacking. And now for the passive skills. His pre-made skill as a marksman is Chain Shot. After dealing ranged damage, the ranged hit chance increases by 10% for one turn. And that is stackable. And the second passive skill is Quick Reload. It reduces the cost of the reload action by one strategy point. And his third passive skill is Overhead, which increases the ranged hit chance by 5% when higher than the target. And his fourth passive skill is Eagle Eyes. It makes the ranged attack bypass 5% of the target's armor absorption and thereby deal more damage. And the fifth and last of the passive skills is the Bull's Eye skill. It increases the chance to hit with the aim action by 10%. And this is his personal Warband member master plan sheet, planned out and masterminded by the captain himself. And you can find this sheet and many more in the captain's book of master plans. And our captain is back from his selling spree and he's got some more gold crowns here to resolve the big mystery of the missing gold, right? So we don't need to talk anymore about that. It's resolved, right? So the captain can train hold ground for two days. Nice. And so a new damn day is dawning in Mordheim and it's time to look at the daily report. And our big brute lovestruck basher here, Howard Howler, has recovered from his light wounds and can once again take part in missions. And I have learned the skill battle plan overnight, as well as Herman Henchman overnight has learned the skill shield specialist. And two other warriors are currently under training. And we have one more day to deliver the requested shipment and avoid consequences from the Baron. I hope the captain is aware of this. Well, I have even more hot news to report, as you all no, our captain's twin brother, Mark Mugshot, is a new recruit. He came last night and negotiated a few terms for his enlisting. Two, actually. First of all, he doesn't want to complete the standard contract of five missions and five enemies put out of action. No, he wants to be a true member right away. Sure, <laughs> he's going to do five missions and put five enemies out of action anyway at some point. Well, the second term is about enlisting you. Yet another member, a battle buddy of his, some Spanish champion called Victor, I think. And the captain has agreed to that, so it seems we can expect yet another new recruit in the near future. Now that is exciting, right? But that isn't even the most
most hot news. You see, he was supposed to come two days ago, but he arrived while we were all struggling with some heavy belly bashing after Perry Perry's failed delicacy. And he just turned in the doorway and didn't return until yesterday, while we were on a mission. He arrived while Perry Perry was barbecuing in the kitchen, or rather, barbecuing the kitchen. Yeah, he had set the whole kitchen on fire. All the new wooden cupboards and tables and shelves, they were ablaze. He came just in the nick of time to help Perry Perry put out the fire with the rest of our water supply. And after that, Perry just disappeared. Gone. Vanished. Like a fart in the wind. Yeah, we know that term now. So, to put it in short, we now have no kitchen no water supply, and no warband cook. And the captain is fumingly furious, and is most likely gonna fire him when he finds him, cause he only gave him one more chance, right? And ruining yet another meal, burning down the kitchen, using all our water supply, and then running away. That kinda covers it, right? Anyway, we've all been looking for him all morning in true chaos, but we really need to go on a mission now. So, here is the team we are sending into Mordheim City of the Damned today. And we're a party of just seven today. We're going in light, and there is a reason for this. Well, actually, there are two reasons, and I'll get to that in a second. Let's just start from the left back. Me, Mage Master, of course I'm joining the mission, always. And our big brute love struck basher, Howard Howler is coming with us today. He is fully recuperated, and let's just hope he can focus on something else than Gisela this and Gisela that. And the reason why we're going in light today, well, one of the reasons is our newest recruit, the second captain, Mark Mugshot, the twin brother of Mason Mugshot, is coming with us on his first mission today. And we're going to try to make it like a walk in the park, tucking him in well and defending him good. And that's why we're also bringing our best first frontline warrior, Sheldon Shearwise along, a.k.a. the White Knight, a.k.a. A the surgeon and a good second front liner dodgy Dan is there with his dueling pistols as well to take care of us all and the second reason why we are going in a bit light is Pierre Paré he is still a new recruit and we need to take good care of him the eye in the sky today together with me of course is Baldy Bowman and he's bringing his viciously hard hitting crossbow Nice. Now let's try and see if we can make it, you know, a picnic to Mordheim, right? A walk in the park. That would be nice. So let's go. And our captain has found us a normal level mission today to make it easy on our new reserve captain. A walk in the park. <laughs> Someone's marked for death, the words don't gathering could be very poor and the scavenging average. Each warband spread out by their wagons far from each other. Now let's go for a picnic, shall we? Scouts have reported a rival warband in the vicinity. Before you can find them, a heavy fog settles over the ruins. Unable to pick up the enemy's trail, your warriors deploy from their wagon and spread out to sweep the area in search of your foe. And we're in! First things first, let's just check out the map and see who we're up against while our new captain checks out his Mordheim map for the first time and hopefully lays out a master plan. Let's see, the Congregation of Blood, they are from the Cult of the Possessed. So that is the foe we are facing today. Oh, there's a lot of words down here, but it's probably all fragments. Anyway, let's deploy and hear our new second captain's hopefully genius plan. And I will be right here. Ah, there's a scavenge point right in there. And the captain will be here. And Dodgy Dan is gonna be here. And Pierre Paré is gonna be close to the captain as well. He's gonna be there. And Baldy Bowman is gonna be 
here, close to the captain as well. And Sheldon Shieldwise is gonna be close as well. And Howard Howler is gonna be a bit further away. Right here. So let's hear the captain's hopefully genius master plan. So the captain says we're all just gonna run up the street and pick up all of this wordstone and then we're gonna continue to the wagon and we're gonna hack and slash anyone we see along the way. Um, that's not gonna happen, Captain. That's kind of not the firing squad way. So, uh, Sheldon Shieldwise and I, we just persuaded the Captain that we're gonna take over and he's just gonna tack along today. So, uh, Sheldon is gonna take care of the frontliners command and I will be commanding the backliners. And our plan is to go into this house right here and, and kind of gather up and see if we can spot any of them along the way so uh that's the first plan and captain <laughs> just hacking and slashing and running straight forward that is not a good idea not in wartime so let's deploy howard howler and see how things go and there are two question marks in the top of the screen indicating that two opponents are taking their moves now i'm the first one and what i saw was that right in here we have a scavenge point, so I'll be taking the scavenge point to start off with here. Let's just see, like this, okay. Ah, 62 gold crowns, that's nice, that pretty much pays for the whole thing. Once again, Mage Master is securing the finance of the mission, nice. Ooh, let's just be careful not to step on those traps. That could be traps. Let's go real close here and see if we can just get the things into our chest, if we can make it. If not, it doesn't matter. Then I don't want to waste the strategy point on this first. No, it's not possible. It doesn't matter. So we're just going to run straight down this way here. Let's see. Uh, that wasn't far. But that's, I guess, far enough. Let's see if this... If somebody comes in this opening here. And Overwatch stands right here. Like that. Okay. Let's just see. What? No, 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 no! That's Perry! Perry, what's he doing here? He must have been hiding in the wagon. Oh, my Sigma, what is he doing here? Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. He's going scavenging. Oh, man. This is bad. What's he doing here? I d oh man, this guy. He's running around with a kitchen knife. He's... Oh man, this is bad. No, 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 no. Perry, Perry, what are you doing here? Oh no, 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 no. This is so bad. This is so bad. This is so bad. Oh my god, he's... Oh man. I'm really hoping he's just gonna come to us. Oh man, this is bad. This is so bad. What is he doing here? Oh man, he's just got a kitchen knife. Man, this is bad. Oh, Captain, he always checks out the wagon before we go on a mission, but because of all this chaos where we were all looking for Perry Perry, we must have forgotten that. Okay, no, 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 Captain, just just leave Perry Perry alone, okay? I mean, he, he's got to come to us. We need to set up this house. So you just need to go in and see if there is uh, some, some stairways or something here. There's no stairway. You've got to be outside then. Okay, let's uh, let's see if we can place you at a good spot. And um, why don't we place you right there? Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good place. And an Overwatch stands right here. Yeah. Oh man, this is bad. This is not at all gonna be a walk in the park. Oh man. Oh man. This is bad, Dodgy Dan. You, you better get to the to the captain like as fast as possible. Let's see if we can get you, you know, to stand in front of the store right here. Yeah, yeah. 
and we need we need someone to cover the captain as well. Oh man, this is not at all gonna be a walk in the park. Oh man, we got Pierre Paré, he, he's not experienced, he's just got one mission under his belt. He could be by the window here. And then we've got a captain with no experience in more time, and we've got a love-struck first frontliner in Howard Howler, and we've got a suicidal cook running around practically unarmed. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, oh man, this is bad. This is bad. All right, Baldy Bowman. Sheldon Shewise and I, we are gonna have to make this a safe ride today. Oh man. Oh, that's a good position right up there. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. And Sheldon Shewise, you're gonna have to get to the new captain as fast as possible. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, yeah. Well, Sheldon just told me that we are gonna be the ones who's taking the load today, I know, I know. Oh my, Sigmar. Oh man. Let's just see here if there are any enemies here. Perry Perry over here, oh man, this is bad. And Howard Howler, we need to get you to the captain as fast as possible. See if you could get into a defensive stance. Whoops, that was one too much, let's just see here. There's a lot of traps right here, so let's just watch out. No, you can't be in a defensive stance, so you're just gonna be standing right here so that everybody could get past you. And you're gonna have to take an end turn right there. Yeah. A new round has started. Ah, oh, they are picking up some word stone. Okay. Let's see if anybody turns up this round. But where are they? They're picking up even more word stone. Oh, man. Let's just take a look and see who we can find. We can't find anyone. Wonder if they're over here and we just can't see them. Or maybe they are scavenging some of these points here and there would be wordstone in that. And Perry Perry, oh man, suicidal chef. All right, anyway, let's see how far I can get. If I could get up on the first floor, it would be, it would be good. Could I, could I break the line over there and then go around you real careful? See if I can make it through all of all of you here and all the way up beside Baldy Bowman that's a good position up there Baldy let's see if we can if we can stand together up here oh man I can't get through this door this isn't too good so I'm gonna be here overlooking this place we got you covered here captain we got you so let's see what Perry Perry's gonna do. He's he's just running around here all on his own. Oh man. Oh, he's gonna go scavenge. Okay. Ah, he's finding some nice things here. And a good shield there, an armband. That's a lot of gold. Oh, he's switching. The armband there, that's a lot of gold. Armband is like... I don't know, four or five gold? That's that's a lot for one item. Oh, he's going for the wagon. Oh, that's, at, at least that's something. Man, you are sick. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's just see. Who can we see here, Baldy Bowman? Can we see anyone? Doesn't seem as if we can see anyone. And it's the captain's turn. Let, let's just take a look here. Oh, now they're showing up here. Ah, oh, man. And this is one of the mocked ones. It's their leader, Cherubale. Okay, so he's the one gathering wordstone, is he? Okay. This guy's probably going to come running through this way, and he's probably going to run straight for us when he's done taking wordstone. So, Captain, you need to take an overwatch stance. Yeah. You got... The dueling pistols are giving you uh, a good percentage of a hit chance. This is nice. We got you all covered here. Let's just hope Howard Howler 
provide some protection for you. And Baldy Bowman, there he is. All right. Looks as if you're gonna take an Overwatch stance up here. Uh, as well. You just moving aside a bit for me so I can take the window. Nice. Thanks for that. And Sheldon Shieldwise. Okay, let's just see here if any more have popped up in our view. No, no one has popped up. How about you, Perry Perry? You seen anyone? <laughs> no. Okay, you better come to us after that. Looks like you're gonna need a hand in more ways than one. Anyway, uh, Sheldon Shieldwise, are you taking a delay? Okay. Oh, and Dodgy Dan, you're gonna go up on the stairs as well? To protect the captain? Close him in? That's good thinking right there. And Pierre Barret. Oh, you going up on the stairs as well? Yeah, this is a good firing line right there. Nice. Let's see. Let's just see. Sheldon. And let's just see if the last one that moved. No, he's not moved into any position we can see. You're gonna take another day. And Howard Howler. So what has Sheldon Shubwise told you to do? Oh, to go over. What's that supposed to oh, I see. Maybe that's uh that's traps right there. So if anybody charges you, they'll be running straight into a trap. One of them, I guess. Nice. And a 77% parry chance. Now that's good. That's really good. And Sheldon, she wise. You are gonna take the doorway instead. All right. I like that. With a 74% parry stance. Okay. Let's just see how that plays out. A new round has started. Okay, let's see what's going on here. We can hear him. That's the hero. Oh, he's coming from that angle down there. Is he going for parry parry? Is that what he's doing? Oh man, he looks big. He looks like really big. Oh, man. And what's this guy doing down here? He's gone. He's gone. Where is he? Is something happening down here? Oh. <gasps> nice! First blood there! Right on, Baldy Bowman! Nice! Oh, man. This... Oh, let's just see. Do I have a chance to deal some damage here? Maybe I should... Maybe... Let's just see. Maybe I could... Uh, I could... Maybe I could go upstairs. Let's just see if I could do this. Oh, nice one! Ah, oh, man, that was good. That was really good. Let's just see. Ah, oh, there's space enough for more than one out here. Let's just see here. Oh, man. I can't get a beat on any of them. That's weird. Okay. If I could delay, there may be a possibility of getting a shot in on someone. I'm gonna take a delay here. Because you know what? I got... It. Three shots. Okay, Perry. Are you gonna put the things in here first? Okay, and and then you could come to us, right? I mean, like, you need that. Let's just see here. Oh, you're going, you're gonna take the idle buff as well? That's probably a good thing. You need that. That's just a kitchen knife there, and you're up against the hero right out there. Yeah, that's right. You just come straight down to us. Oh, look at that. He's a big, nasty one with some nasty horns as well. What? What? What, what are you... No, 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 Perry. Don't take the fight. He's... He's a hero. 
you got a kitchen knife. No, Perry, Perry, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, man. This is bad. Perry. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, so no, no one showed up around here. So let's just take a look here and see. No, there's, there's no one else popped up. Okay, I think I'm gonna go over here and take the overwatch stance. I might be able to take one of his strategy points if he moves. So let's just see here. Oh man, this is definitely not a walk in the park. This is bad. This is so bad. Oh man. And Captain, maybe you should take a delay. Just to see if there is a possibility for you to... to pick your own shot. Ah, oh, man. Sorry guys, I experienced a Mordheim blackout for two critical minutes. It was a new round. Their leader approached our corner house and took some heavy damage on the way in. He cast some blood curse on our captain and lined up right in front of Sheldon Shieldwise and the firing squad with only 13 wounds to his life. Then their hero went for Perry Perry. He stepped right into his ambush and Perry attacked but missed. The hero attacked three times and the first attack was dodged and countered with a good hit by Perry. But the two next attacks severely damaged Perry Perry. Then it was Mage Master's turn and he couldn't get a beat on their leader from the balcony. So he went one floor down and stood beside Baldy Bowman for a better aim. All right, let's just see here. Oh man, was, it, was, that, was that a meteor? Just striking down from the sky right as my arrow came along. You, you didn't see it? You, I saw that. I, I, I did. Anyway, I got three... <gasps> hey! Did you see that, Captain? Did you, did you note who that kill was from? <laughs> I like that. I really do. Let's, let's just see. I, I can't do anything else now. I'm just going to end my turn right here. That was my seventh enemy put out of action. Ah, oh, Perry, Perry, you better get out of there real fast. I mean, no, 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 don't, don't, yeah. oh, man. You are suicidal. What's going on here? What are you doing? Oh, man. Yeah, you should, I ain't disengage. Oh, come on, Perry, Perry, what are you? Ah, oh, man, what, that is a serious death wish. Oh, man. Oh, man. And Captain, you should just take a reload and an overwatch stance once more. Like that. Yeah. Oh, man. This is definitely not a walk in the park. Perry, Perry, what's going on in your mind? Huh? Okay. Dodgy Dan, you two are gonna take an overwatch. If anybody else pops up here, we can't do anything about Perry Perry. He's just gonna be there on his own. He should have disengaged. What is he doing? Baldy Bowman. Let's let's take overwatch stances up here. Get a good overview of this. And Pierre Paré, you should be taking this guy's token. This is a uh, part of our um Optional objective. Ooh, he's got a lot of stuff. And a staff of fury. Nice one. You could take all the word stone and take the buffs from that. And then Sheldon Shieldwise could take the rest. Ooh, you got some health there. Ah, huh? that was pretty good. So you didn't get any debuff. That's nice. That's real nice. And you can reload, like that. And an overwatch stance. Awesome. And Sheldon, maybe you could take, uh... This undivided token here, and the Staff of Fury. That would be for me. A parry chance bypass. Nice. Objective completed. Yep. 
Objectives updated. Updated. We just need one more here. Let's just see. Yeah, you need to stay here, Sheldon. That's good thinking. Okay. So let's see. Let's just take a look at the map here and see if anybody is approaching. If they step on a trap or something, we might be able to see it. No. Okay, Howard Howler. What are you, what are you doing? Oh man, he's writing little hearts and writing Gieseler into it. Where are you going, Howard? Oh, uh, oh, you're thinking about helping uh, Perry Perry over here. Well, that's a good thing to do. We gotta take care of our own, even if he is a fool, man. Oh, could you? Could you possibly charge? Yeah, you could make a swift charge. Oh, that's a nice one. And you made a successful fear test. Oh, that was a good one. That was a nice one. All right. Gonna go for another one. Ooh, he's down a lot now. Nice. You're gonna have to make an end turn there without any defensive stance or anything. A new round has started. Nice dodging there, Perry Perry. I gotta give you that one. <laughs> And you even hit him with the kitchen knife, oi! Oh man, don't hurt Howard Howler! Don't hurt Howard Howler! I mean, the guy's in love! Oh, there's one standing out there. Let's just take a look at this guy. Alright, this is also a Dax. And, and this guy's a Dax? Okay, and he's got five. Five! <laughs> okay, reload here. Anyway, He's already moved, so uh, he's not gonna be coming any closer in this round. But I am gonna delay to see if anybody else pops up. Oh, there are two more guys moving. Let's just see here. And now you disengage? What? Where are you? Oh man, you're going looting at this moment? This, okay. Oh, man. Well, it's some good stuff. It is, but hey. Man, this is... <laughs> oh, man. Perry, Perry. Oh, yeah. And now you are to... Okay. <laughs> Whoa. And you, you're just gonna end the turn there? Oh, you could have taken a dodge. You could have done so many things. You could have run away. You could... Oh, man. This is bad. Perry, Perry, you are taking some odd decisions. Just as odd as the decisions you made in your kitchen. Oh, man. Nothing seems to be happening here. And it's my turn again. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take another delay here. To see if anybody else pops up. I may have a few shots. And Captain, you should just take an overwatch. Yep, right there. Now somebody's gonna start. Now somebody's moving. Let's just keep an eye here. See if any trap is activated or something. Nope. Okay. So I'm gonna take an overwatch. And let's just see how things progress. Oh man. Pierre Paré. You should take an overwatch as well. Right there. Sheldon Shearwise holding the entrance, protecting us all. This is good stuff. This is good stuff, Sheldon. And Baldy Bowman going for another overwatch. Oh man. Dodgy Dan. Overwatch. going on okay okay what's going on here is he coming no he's picking up some wordstone for us <laughs> apparently there were a few clusters over there i mean the leader had picked up a few clusters let's hope there is another cluster or another shard for us Howard Howler, once again, you passed the fear test, ah, and he passed.
passed a dodge test of some sort. Okay. Yeah, that's right, Howard Owler. You just put him down. Nice one. Now let's go for the loot. Ah, he's got a fragment, but he's got two armbands. Now these are worth something. We can't use them, but they're worth something. Oh, why didn't you pick up the fragment? Oh, you talked to Perry Perry. So he's gonna take it up and bring it to the wagon, okay. Um, that's a nice one. Thanks for that. Oh, watch out for that trap right there. Yeah. And, and maybe, uh... Maybe you should just stop there, right? Right there. For a parry stance. Yeah. To protect yourself. A new round has started. Okay. And a new round is starting up here. I will delay one or two just to see what happens. If anybody else comes within range. Okay. And Perry, Perry, you, you gonna take that fragment right there? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Ah, uh, you got a few warp effects and stuff. Okay, so you're gonna put it in our chest. Thanks. That's a good one. Okay, so we got stuff in the chest here, nice. Alright, now you should come to our... No, our house! You're going to wrong... Perry, Perry, man! Oh, man, where are you going? Where are you going? What is going on in your head? Where are you going? Oh, man! Perry, Perry, what's wrong with you? I guess those kitchen fumes must have gotten into your head. Ah oh, man. Well, I'm still here, and I'll take another delay here to see if anybody pops up within my range. Ah oh, man. And, and you should just stay put, Captain, with an overwatch. That's right. You're in a very good position. Now let's, let's see if anybody is gonna pop up, step on a trap, do something. No. Nothing happened there. Okay. So, I will just go into an overwatch stance and await the next round. Let's just see here. Baldy Bowman. You two in an overwatch stance. We got a good overview here. Dodgy Dan, we're getting ready to take the word stone out of that guy's pocket when he shows up. Right? And Sheldon Shootwise, a parry stance right here is a, is a good one, yeah. Okay. And Pierre Paré, too. Okay, let's, let's see what he does now. Let's just see what he does. Ah, uh, is he coming? Is he coming? No, he's picking up some more wordstone, I see. Okay. So how, how much room you got? Okay, so, so nothing happened. He ran off. Yeah, I, I'd do that too if I was you. I would. Okay, um. Okay, and Howard Howler. Nothing happened there, so what are you gonna do, Howard Howler? Oh, you're gonna place yourself behind those two traps right there if you get charged. That's good thinking there. Well, maybe you are a bit focused anyway, huh? Well done, Howard. A new round has started. A new round, yeah. And I'll start with a delay right here, just to see if anybody else pops up. I have three shots. And Perry, Perry, why don't you come? Oh man, you gonna loot that? Yeah, well. <clears throat> oh man. Perry, Perry. Okay, and then you're gonna come to us, right? Okay, wait, no, 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 it's the wrong way, Perry. It's the wrong way, you're going the wrong way. No, 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 no. Oh my God, where are you going? What are you doing? You going for that? No, you're not serious. God, Perry, Perry. Oh man. Oh man, look at this. Ah, oh, he's got... Barry, Barry! No, no, no! This guy looks nasty. This is... Oh, man. 
Perry, Perry, that kitchen. <laughs> Perry, Perry. How many attacks does he have, this guy? Oh, man. This is bad. This is not at all a picnic or a walk in the park. Perry, Perry, you are really not making this easy on us, are you? Oh, man. We can't get to you, Perry, Perry. You, I, guess, I guess you know that, right? I'm going to take another delay, just to see if anybody else pops up. I've got three shots. I don't know if I've mentioned that. Have I mentioned that? Yeah, you go for an overwatch there, Captain. And let's see if anybody pops up here. Oh, man, let's just take a look at this guy. Oh, he is loaded. And you got 73 health or wounds left. Perry, Perry. Oh man, this is bad. I'm just gonna take an overwatch stance right here. Perry, Perry, what are we gonna do about you? Sheldon, you need to just stay put. That guy's gonna bring some wordstone to us, I believe. Yeah. And Pierre Paré, you're gonna take an overwatch as well. We're all gonna take overwatches right here. Yeah. And Dodgy Dan is going to take an overwatch as well. Oh, man. Let's take a look here. Nope. Now let's see if he pops up here. He's coming. Nice one, Baldy. That was one shot. Let's see. Ah, he didn't make it that far, huh? You taking an overwatch over there? And Howard Howler, you could just stand here for another parry stance. Right there. Okay. A new round has started. And, and I'll, I'll go for a delay again. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I've got... I, I've mentioned that. Okay. Oh, Perry, Perry, let's let's see if we if you can do it. Damage here, that's good. That's that's pretty good. And and uh, he is blocking the door, so you're uh, you're gonna have to just dodge your way out of this one. Oh man, Perry, Perry, you are truly suicidal. Oh man. Okay, Captain, you got him in sight, but not in range. So. An overwatch, as soon as he steps any closer, we will stick it to him. And I can't do anything about this either. So I'll take a delay. There are still two more question marks in the top of the screen. Indicating that there are two opponents that are going to make their moves. Let's just keep an eye on the map here and see if anybody is closing in. No. Okay. And Baldy Bowman, you are doing some really good shooting. Look at that 95% chance. Give it to him. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> awesome, Baldy. Awesome. And you should take an overwatch. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You're just gonna take him as soon as he steps one step further. And nobody popped up, so, um... I'll take an overwatch stance as well. It's weird I can't shoot him up there. I mean, that doesn't look as if it's that far away. Dodgy Dan, you're doing some good shooting with your dueling pistols right there. And Pierre Barret as well. We're all just waiting here on the firing line, doing exactly what our first captain told us to do, creating a first front line and a second front line. Sheldon Shieldwise here is the first frontliner. Okay. Oh, okay, he's taunting. Ah, oh, yay, 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 Perry, you gotta dodge, you gotta dodge, you gotta dodge! Ah, oh, man, you totally forgotten how to do that. Uh, I don't like this. Oh, man, Perry, Perry, he's going down. Nice one, Baldy! Ah, uh, he's coming. He's coming. Oh, okay. You see, I got him in the foot. Yeah. Yeah, I got him in the foot. So, oh. Oh, dodgy Dan. That's too bad. 
That's too bad. Okay. That's not bad at all there, Pierre Paré. That's pretty good. He's taking a lot of shit. He's taking a lot of shooting. Ah, oh, that wasn't a trap. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah. That's right, Howard Howler. You just put him down, and you can even do some looting now. So, what kind of wordstone did you bring for us? Fragments, huh? That's like worth nothing. And a great sword is worth like two gold coins or something like that. But if we leave it in here and the round ends, it disappears. So we might as well take it and this could be looted by someone else later on. Oh, you got a warp effect there. Oh, so, oh, you, you go into the wagon. Yeah, well, that's, that's probably some good thinking there. That's probably good thinking there, Howard. You seem, you seem pretty focused today anyway. So, uh, if we, if you could be here at the corner in an ambush, you could cover yourself, that's good thinking. Nice one, Howard. Nice. Okay. Someone just popped up. So let's see. A new round has started. And there's a guy over here. And none of them are the marked ones. That's too bad. That's like too bad. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna reload. We can see him over there. Let's just hope that he's bringing some wordstone to us. I will delay. Okay, give it to him. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Give it to him. He didn't. He didn't parry that one. Let's just and that one too. Nice one, Perry. Nice. Okay. So uh, if you go into a dodge stance, you better you better dodge. Okay. You you better dodge. Hmm. This is bad. Oh man. And captain, you are gonna reload. Yes. And, and then you, uh, you go into an overwatch again. That's right. Okay. And I'll take a delay once more. I might at least get maybe two shots in this round if somebody pops up. Or if that guy gets any closer. Okay, let's, let's see what he does. What, what does he do? He's coming. Okay. He's got one arm as well. Oh man. Okay, Pierre Paré. And and you can't loot that bag out there because you got a full inventory already. You got two good clusters and a shard, but you could take the window here. Yeah, let's let's see if, if that's a possibility there. Oh, and I have a nice beat on this guy. All right, let's give him some damage down there. Okay, that wasn't much, but it was damage. It was damage. Oh, yeah. And and I'm going to take an Overwatch stance just to take some of his strategy points when he moves. Possibly he can't move all the way around, uh, stuff like that. Let's, let's just see here, Shell. You got two slots left here. Okay. And, and you could take two of these fragments, and now you, you've got a, f a full inventory right there. Yeah. You got a buff. A three meter movement range. Oh, man. Nice. You could possibly even charge that guy, but you shouldn't. You should just get right back here and, and get into uh, parry stance and then cover these stairs. We got a lot of guys up on the stairs, relying on your security. All right, let's see, Baldy Bowman, if you could deal some more damage to this guy down here. Let's see. Yeah, that's a nice one. 36. Oh my God, that crossbow is really good. It's really good. And then an Overwatch stance. If he moves just one step further, we are gonna give it to him. Okay.
Okay, and Pierre Paré, you should just take an overwatch stance right here. Like this. And dodgy Dan, why don't you just reload and let's see if an overwatch stance is gonna stop him and his approach. Yeah, nice. Okay. Ooh, nice dodging there, Perry. Perry, that's not good. Oh, my Sigma. Oh, man. This is bad. This is really bad. Oh, man. He just lost Perry Perry. And Howard Howler here. Let's let's just take a quick look over here. Uh, what? Oh, he's, he's moved over. Oh, man. He's coming for Howard Howler now. Oh, man. This is a hero against a hero fight then, huh? Yeah, well, you better focus there, Howard. Hey. Howard, it's Howard. It's it's your turn. How, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you've been ah oh man. You've been writing little hearts and writing Gisela into it. Ah, oh, come on. And he's he's just right there. Did you did you know that in that house? You better be careful. You better start focusing here. Let's get all this nice stuff into the wagon. Okay. So maybe you could. Yeah, you could make an ambush right here. That's a good move right there. That's a good move. Yeah. A new round has started. This is not at all a walk in the park. Well, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I got three shots. And this is the moment where I can actually show you all that it's not just bragging. Yeah, this is good. This is good. This is so good. Yeah. Awesome. And let's make the last one an overwatch stance right here. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. I can't forget that that we have lost Perry Perry in more time. Oh, man. The captain is gonna be furious. He's gonna be like really furious. I mean, not Mark Mugshot. I mean Mason Mugshot. See? Oh, yeah, that's a good one, Baldy. Nice shot. Ah, I got my third shot there. You see? You see that? Ha <laughs> ha! This is good. This is good. And dodgy Dan as well. You crit him. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. This guy is going down. All right, Pierre Paré. Why don't you try to get up on the stairs, take a shot, and then go inside again? Yeah, let's let's just see. Oh, that is a nice percentage, but that's because he's stunned. Let's just see here. Yeah, that's right. That is so right, Pierre Paré. You just took out your second... Your second one. I like that. Let's see. How can we how can we place you here? Should you just be by the window or by the door? But listen, don't shoot Sheldon, okay? He's not gonna like that. And then uh, end your turn right there. Nice. Okay, Dodgy Dan, how much have you got? You got an empty inventory here. Let's see if we can get you. Let's just make this loot real quick. Right. Oh. I see someone down there. Let's just take a look at that. Oh, that's the last marked one. But their morale is already below the threshold. But if we if we could take you to this loot, let's let's just take the chance. Okay, let's see. Ah, oh, man, that was a bad chance. That was like two gold coins in all, maybe three in all. That's not good. That's not good at all. Anyway, so all you can do is uh, try and step back here. Oh, man. You're standing in the middle of the street. Let's just hope they fail their route test. But, Baldy Bowman and I, we're gonna cover you, Dodgy Dan. Yep. There's a reload here and... An overwatch stands here. And Sheldon Shewise. Oh, yeah, you got a lot of movement range. So you could, uh, you could take an ambush stance up here, and you could pretty good protect Dodgy Dan. 
Nice. This is good. Ah, they failed! Awesome! Ah! Yes! Yes! And now, we approach the sweet moment. Returning from battle in one piece is always a sweet moment, but it is also the moment where we discover the newfound skills and the spoils of war, and we receive advancements and experience and better gear. And today, we can once again enjoy the battle tales of yet another victory, but also attend to the open wounds and bloody injuries sustained. That may or may not become fatal for the continuance of the Firing Squad. Let's share that sweet moment together in tomorrow's episode of Mage Master's Amazing Adventures with the Firing Squad into Vortheim, the city of the damned. Thanks for now, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then please leave a note in the commentary below, and hit that subscribe button and the notification button if you want to be notified of new releases. So that's it for me, thanks, and have a nice day.